Hey guys, welcome back to day four or the final day of my Carl's Greek Island holiday. Yes, that is it guys. I am packing up right now and doing stuff, but not before I give you a few more little things to see. So we're going to explore the island a bit, do whatever we see, have, have fun, do it our little way. But then that'll be it. Yeah, I will show you as much as I can, but you know, it's still a gorgeous day outside and let's see what else they, this island can give us. So let's chill and have fun. Okay, so the first thing we went to see was the Ancient Agora. By the way, guys, um, normally I don't do voiceovers for these videos, but I decided I like it, so I'm just going to give you the whole thing as a voiceover right now. So yeah, the Ancient Agora here was very beautiful, except for the fact that I couldn't read anything about this place. So all I got was like little snippets, like that's the temple, I think, of Aphrodite, which was amazing to look at, and, and you know learning about some Greek gods and all that, but again, like, I couldn't read that much, it just, it, I think it was, like, an ancient market, or, like, something like, something like ancient quarry or whatever, but it was beautiful, it's right in the middle of the center of town, which I absolutely love, so it was just super easy to get to, um, right here, I think, was the Temple of Hercules, if I remember reading this, again, the guys, like, this is, this is the problem you have like signs like this in the middle of the town where it's like they get the full brunt of the sun so all the signs around here are cracked so there's sort of a reason why I don't give you a lot of this it's just me wandering around because I didn't learn anything but one thing I did see was that um a lot of the the rooms or the layout of the place was well preserved like as you can see here so all the you can see the out the outline of all the rooms which is really cool. You can just like walk about and understand how massive the rooms are. Yeah, you know, like even this one had still a bit of the floor left in it. I was trying to get over to those pillars right over there, so you can see me just right now just climbing over the walls, which is again, I've said this before, like in England I would never be able to do this. I'd have to go all the way around. But the fact that I could just, you know, hop over is very nice. Um these were the tallest things around the area, as you can see by the lack of information I was given. Again, if you guys can read this, well done. But yeah, see, I, I went to the pillars right there, which I was really impressed by because I guess it's one of those things where you look at it and it's like, oh my God, it's all there. But then I, I saw it and I was like, wow, they really just had to pick everything up. It was all it was all spectacular. Uh, you, you'll see me wandering over here and stum st yeah, stumbling around because one of the drawbacks of going through all the rooms and such is that the whole the whole place is covered with like, weeds and thorns and anything else that just scratched my legs which was not fun but still it was a nice little thing to see to get out of so you know there's not there's not much i could say about that but it was a really really cool place to go to all right the next place we went to was something i've been trying to show you guys all week but i couldn't go to which was the roman odeon you know like like an amp like the theater that sort of thing so it's over there and that's what it used to look like so we're gonna have a look at it right now which was really fun. See, that's me walking onto the stage. And you could just sort of see, like, how much of it was well-kept and well-preserved. Like, it was it was really nice and extremely beautiful to get up to. But let me tell you one thing. Like, th this is one of those things where, like, my family and I, we, we always have to take photos of everything. And this is a perfect opportunity to do that. But climbing these stairs was a disaster in the sense of, like, you, you know, I, I walked up here to get like a good shot of the place just to see what the atmosphere was like you know, of standing in, in the crowd looking down at the stage was spectacular. But also, I mean, I had to go up and down and up and down all the time to get good shots of everything else. This is me entering the backstage because I, I was surprised as you that there's a backstage to this place. It's literally around. You, know, you go around, you get, get in there. Again, guys, me showing how tall I am and compared to the smallness of this place. That's that I found actually. That's a little bit of the wall that's that's still kept. I was really impressed with myself that I managed to find that. I was like, wow, I I found some wall there, you know, that that's been there for like I don't know, two thousand odd years, which is so good. And the last thing we're gonna see is the Casa Romania, which in the nicest way is like a a Roman house. Yeah, you know, basically they they found this, the ruins of an ancient house and decided to rebuild it, to redo it in the way that they could. So I just spent time exploring this area. And guys, this is spectacular, you know? Because you look at all this and think, how much of this is restored? And they did a superb job. This is like a little you know, open spot where all the beautiful flowers were and such. Don't ask me to name anything in terms of what this place was. I had absolutely no idea. I just, I spent too much time looking. Look, ancient artwork there. Eh. I just spent too much time just, you know, 
exploring the house and just look around or read anything because that's that's me. I'm an absolute idiot and those kind of things. But you can still see they they did that. They put up like little posters of um of them restoring it. This is another court courtyard. I think like it's one of the intersections. The pool, the pond there was disgusting. Don't believe me. I'm so glad I didn't smell. But just look one look and I was like, oh okay. So you know, so I decided to move on a little bit with that. And that's um yeah more mosaic art on the ground there. You know, I'll let my my family explain the joke there. <laughs> this this bit was the fun bit. This was the main courtyard. This was a every you know, this is like the center of the house, which I was really fascinated to go. I mean, look how big this place is. Look how like you know, oh yeah, you could go up there by the way. But so like, you look and think like, my God, this place is this place is massive, and this is just like a house. You know, it, it wasn't like, oh, this is the house of some rich benefactor or like something, you know, someone so spectacular. This is just a normal house, you know, that they had then. And it's just like, my God, look at, why can't we have something like that? So I spent my time walking around there. Yeah, just sort of exploring the little knickknacks that they kept around, you know, including, you know, one I was shown here, which was like the little plates and jars and glasses right here. It's really cool, you know, like just sort of, seen what what was survived when they you know dug out the rubber and, and kept all those things going it's also interesting like you you go into these sort of rooms and it's like oh yeah this is the toilet or yeah this is the oven there's the aerial shot of me getting out there which is really cool oh yeah this this bit i found really fun this is the actual model of what the house looked like you know like i like it's a really big house you know a really nice one so whoever lived in it props to you you did well uh yes all the pots and pans and stuff um and all the nice little statues. Again, I am surprised at how much of this was kept there. All right, let's do this. Let's stop. And that's it. That's everything. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this trip. It's, it's been really fun. Now I'm just in the lobby now waiting for the coach and stuff. But um, so I'll be back home soon. So thank you so much for being a part of this. I hope to maybe do more of these maybe in the future. But you'll get the lovely trailer reaction and stuff as normal. So, you know, cars. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Thank you for everything that you gave me, all the sights to see. And I guess I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video, a brand new reaction, I guess. So thanks, guys. I'll see you again later. Bye. Just a little quick PS there for you guys. This is so stupid because we're at the airport right now and we're all being taken to like buses that take us to our plane. Except the plane is actually right there. It's so stupid. They take they take people, put them on the bus, ship them around the airport, and then put them there. I could just walk there, and eventually I did. Just a stupid thing I wanted to add. All right, guys, that's it, guys. Bye.